There's a pile of silverware next to you and you throw me the one thing that can never kill anything? All right, okay! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Rick and Morty committed murder. Number 10, The Zygerians. The Zygerians seemingly trick Rick into giving up his recipe for concentrated dark matter. After seemingly getting what they want, the Zygerians let Rick and Jerry go free. But in the end, it's Rick who gets the last laugh. The aliens break out the party supplies while mixing Rick's recipe, and Prince Nebulon thanks his crew for their hard work and dedication, even going so far as to remind the audience that these are just working-class Joes with families. As he adds the last ingredient, the concoction creates a massive explosion, killing everyone on board. What happened back there? Why don't you ask the smartest people in the universe, Jerry? Oh yeah, you can't. They blew up. Number 9. Crombopolis Michael Crombopolis Michael's demise is among the most surprising, not to mention hilarious. Part of this is because he seems like such an unstoppable force. This Gromflamite exemplifies the stealthy skills of Ethan Hunt or Solid Snake. Meanwhile, Morty has stolen Rick's car and goes after Crombopolis Michael in an effort to stop him and save Fart's life. In doing so, Morty accidentally kills KM, unintentionally ending one life to save another and depriving Rick of his best customer. Oh, good job, Morty. Y y you killed my best customer, but you saved a mind-reading fart. Number 8. Do as the Crystal Guides why are they called death crystals? Do, do they kill you? You're thinking of bullets, Morty. Death crystals show you how you're gonna die. As Morty gives himself to the crystal, he begins to go Akira on society. Using Rick's weapons, Morty is able to rip apart the soldier's DNA, turning them into piles of mush. According to the judge at Morty's trial, he reduced a total of 13 men to ash. Number 7. The Miniverse and Teenyverse In order to power his car, Rick creates a microverse in his car battery a miniature universe in which the inhabitants unknowingly work as slaves. When the car won't start, Rick learns that a scientist inside his microverse has created his own microverse. Rick doesn't hesitate to destroy the second microverse. Sorry, miniverse. <coughs> Dumb <coughs> name. Which in turn obliterates all life within it. Rick even implies that he was willing to and absolutely would have destroyed his original microverse if the citizens within it didn't behave and continue to generate power for him. Dark. Number 6. Keep Summer Safe In the same episode as our previous entry, the ship is given instructions to protect Summer. When a threatening-looking man becomes aggressive towards Summer, the car uses its defenses to slice the guy into little cubes. Summer prevents the cruiser from taking another life, but that doesn't stop it from paralyzing the guy's buddy. Help! Summer is safe. I don't feel safe. Granted, you could argue the car is the one with dirty hands. That is to say, if cars had hands. But it was Rick who built the cruiser and gave it this directive. You all right? Uh-huh. Number 5. King Jellybean I'm Mr. Jellybean. Hi, Mr. Jellybean. Few caught us off guard quite like Mr. Jellybean. Not only does he come off as friendly at first, he's literally a talking jellybean. Things rapidly go from sweet to sour as Mr. Jellybean gets touchy with Morty in a bathroom. A traumatized Morty narrowly escapes by bashing a toilet seat over his head. Experiencing empathy in a rare moment, Rick pieces together what the jellybean did to his grandson, and while exiting through a portal, blasts the king into a green, gooey mess. Number 4. Fart This sentient cloud of gas is on Crombopolis Michael's hit list. Along with the assassin, various others get caught in the crossfire as Morty tries to save this gaseous entity, who Rick ever so eloquently dubs Fart. I like this name, Fart. Yet Morty also becomes Fart's undoing. Forming a strong bond with Fart, Morty is shocked to learn that his laid-back friend is plotting to wipe out all carbon-based life in the universe. Tearing up, Morty is given no choice but to blast Fart into oblivion mid-song. Morty, why? Number 3. Most of the Vindicators The Vindicators recruit Rick for a dangerous mission. Unfortunately for the Vindicators, they piss off Rick, who proceeds to get blackout drunk and traps the entire team in an elaborate series of saw-like traps. Vance Maximus is the first to go, getting ground up like hamburger meat when he tries to escape. Crocubot meets an equally gruesome fate, getting crushed in another trap. Eventually, the remaining Vindicators turn on each other, with Supernova as the last one standing. In the end, Drunk Rick isn't the only one with blood and ants on his hands. Yet, he still acted as a deadly catalyst, bringing out the evil in superheroes. All of these deaths are on your hands! Okay, come on, maybe a couple of them. Number 2. The Embassy Director and Guards as a Pickle, Rick is as deadly as John Wick and John McClane combined. Pickle Rick gets on the wrong side of some Eastern European agents when he accidentally infiltrates their compound. 
He thus devises a few intricate booby traps, with one agent getting a trophy through the eye, two more falling into a pencil pit, and several others getting a taste of Rick's impromptu laser gun. However, the most epic downfall is saved for the agency director. Receiving a lift from Jaguar, Pickle Rick flicks a cigarette from a helicopter, triggering an explosion that smokes the director. Farewell, Solenia. Number 1. The Lighthouse Keeper Upon arriving on a planet that annually partakes in the Purge, Rick is naturally on board for a little mayhem. By the end of the night, though, it's Morty who ends up showing his dark side. Morty is initially against purging, even befriending a local pacifist who's nice enough to let them use his lighthouse as a beacon. The catch is that Morty has to listen to his tale, a god-awful movie script. Oh, jeez. Huh? Uh, sorry, C keep going. When Morty attempts to give him some constructive criticism, the would-be screenwriter flips out and demands they leave his home. Robbed of what little patience he had left, Morty gets into the purge spirit and shoves him down a flight of stairs, resulting in a fatal neck break, and Morty just taunts his corpse. You just purged. 